Chapter 20 The following spring, the time of year when kings go to war, Joab led the Israelite army in successful attacks against the towns and villages of the Ammonites. In the process they laid siege to the city of Reba and destroyed it, but David had stayed behind in Jerusalem. When David arrived at Reba, he removed the crown from the king's head, and it was placed on David's own head. The crown was made of gold and set with gems, and it weighed about seventy-five pounds. David took a vast amount of plunder from the city. He also made slaves of the people of Reba, and forced them to labor with saws, picks, and axes. That is how he dealt with the people of all the Ammonite cities. Then David and his army returned to Jerusalem. After this, war broke out with the Philistines at Gizeh. As they fought, Sibekai from Husha killed Saph, a descendant of the giants, and so the Philistines were subdued. During another battle with the Philistines, Elhanan son of Jair killed Lemai, the brother of Goliath of Gath. The handle of Lemai's spear was as thick as a weaver's beam. In another battle with the Philistines at Gath, a huge man with six fingers on each hand and six toes on each foot a descendant of the giants, defied and taunted Israel. But he was killed by Jonathan, the son of David's brother, Shimei. These Philistines were descendants of the giants of Gath, but they were killed by David and his warriors.